Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And this is my entire Christmas Eve toy haul from last year in 2023. Doing it here in 2024, and we're going to show off all the figures I had to show off. I have opened these already because I had to shoot the video twice, so sorry about that. So I just put them back in the boxes. First on the list for my Christmas Eve toy haul of last year, we got a McFarlane Space Marine. I will be reviewing this. This is an awesome figure that comes with a jetpack and a gun. So that's probably my favorite figure I'm going to look forward to reviewing. Next on the list, we got a Power Rangers Zeo Cog, if I can get him to stand in the box. See what I mean? So I got this vintage Power Rangers like lightning series figure design next on the list we got a star wars black series emperor palpatine i do not have him in my star wars collection and i didn't find him at ross so i wound up paying a little bit more for him same went for the zeo ranger cog i would have loved finding them but they didn't have them and he left so that's a real shame anyway Next on the list, we got a Lego Star Wars The Mandalorian pirate ship with a pilot and a pirate soldier, if you want to be specific. So that's the first thing in the box. Why not? Next on the list, we have a Gundam Universe Nintaku or Shawan Gundam. Just love this Gundam. It has the claw arm, which I love. Now we'll have to figure out how to do that. Mess around with them and figure out how to do the claw arm thing. But this figure is just so cool. So that'll be reviewed somewhere next month. Okay. Next on the list, we got a Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Wampin' Willow Tree with a figure. The little girl. Why not? Little... Shadow creature that only she can see. I forget her name in Harry Potter. I'm bad with her name. Pardon that in general. Next, I got another Transformers Authentics. Bravo. It's Soundwave Superior. Autobots Inferior. And I got that from Christmas in the house on Christmas Day along with that Lego Star Wars set. Okay, next on the list, we got this thing. I have not reviewed this. It's from Wendy's, the thing, thing, which is just a little version of like those nesting dolls. I will try to review that because that's a pretty cool piece. And I'm definitely going to look forward to reviewing that on camera for sure. Of course, we got another figure here. It's Wonder Woman. My first ever DC Wonder Woman. So I finally got a Wonder Woman to go with all my Justice League figures. She is just so cool. I gave her a custom sword I made for her. And she looks pretty cool. And ready for battle. Look forward to reviewing that next week. Not next week, but next month. You know what I mean? Okay, next on the list, we got Princess Daisy. I got this from Dollar General, and I'm so glad to have her. She was the last one, and I got her for my Mario collection. I still need the other two princesses, Princess Peach and the other princess sister of Peach, to have all three princesses on my Mario shelf. But when I review this... I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing that. For sure. Why not? Why not? Next on the list, we got this memory card spiral clash team memory card game. I look forward to actually messing around with this and reviewing that. That is just so cool. So definitely some epic video game figures. I look forward to reviewing for all of my fans here on the channel in general because you guys are awesome. 
And that's all there is to say for this bin. We will have another toy haul this month. It won't be till the 15th, but I'll have some more figures. I'll have the Gundam Universe. Sandrock. The Legacy Philosotron Scourge. A Halo action figure. And a Last Night movie Grimlock complete. So I can have him complete body with all his arms and limbs. I look forward to reviewing that when I get that here on the channel. And that's all there is to say for this 2023-2024 toy haul from both last year and this year. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.